Hey, buddy. Okay. Not sure what's going on there. All right. Little distraction out of the way. But we're out here riding solo, and this is typically how I ride. Uh, you know, I'm out here by myself every once in a while. You know, I make the effort to to get out with a, a group or with a friend. But I, I like riding solo because it's all about the freedom. You know, it's it's about getting out here, going where I want, riding for as long as I want. You know, I might have a place I want to go. I might not have a place in mind. I might just be out here riding aimlessly. And that is the beauty of riding on your own. But I did want to give a, a few pointers about riding by yourself. Uh, because, you know, we, we talk about motorcycle riding safety all the time. And one thing though that I don't hear talked about a lot which is why I wanted to bring this up about riding by yourself is keeping in mind that if you are going to take a trip by yourself out uh, on a remote road if you're taking your, your bike out for a uh, you know a nice long morning ride if you're gonna go a hundred miles or so there's a couple of things that uh, that I, I think that riders should keep in mind and by all means, this is just a suggestion. And if you have additional comments to make about riding by yourself or, or taking solo rides, uh, by all means, please leave them in the comments because uh, those of us in the motorcycle riding community appreciate that kind of thing. But the first thing I would say is when you're going out by yourself, especially if you're like, let's say you're a single guy, uh, you know, you live by yourself, is tell somebody where you're going. Now, this seems like overkill for, for a ride like this, where I'm just kind of like riding around town uh, uh, and staying within city limits. I'm not going at very high speeds. But if I'm going out for a long ride out in the country, you know, if I'm, if I'm going on the freeway, is to tell somebody where you're going. It might just be texting your mom or texting a friend, being like, hey, I'm, I'm going out for a ride. You, you know, if, if they're not going with you, just let them know where you're going and, and when you're coming back. And, and you know, I, I already said this, but this is just a suggestion. And <laughs> you can say what you want about this, but my, my biggest concern here is about everyone's safety. And this doesn't necessarily have anything to do with your riding skill. But more so, this has to do with where you're riding and the unpredictable events that could happen while you're riding. Bullshit. <laughs> My second tip is, if you're going out to a remote area, some place that you're not familiar with, take your phone and turn on the find my phone uh, function on your mobile device. And what this is going to do is, if you find yourself in a situation where, you, you know, maybe you, you're unconscious, you're, you roll into a ditch, you uh, run into, you know, whatever trouble you might run into, and you find yourself unable to communicate uh, with somebody because of the predicament that you find yourself in, the Find My Phone app is going to help people locate you because they're going to be able to use GPS to locate your device. If you don't have a mobile device that has that, you can definitely buy a little GPS tracker online and that's another way that people can use to find you. If you are find yourself in a situation where you cannot pick up your phone and call somebody, or let's say maybe your reception isn't good enough to make the call, GPS doesn't use cellular reception, it uses satellite. And so you're gonna find yourself in a place where it's going to be important that someone's gonna be able to track you without using cellular. So tip number three is if you're going on a longer trip, it's important to, to have in mind three things. Where are, where are the gas stations? Where are food and where's the lodging? Okay, because 
even if you don't plan on taking a multi-day trip, uh, you might come find yourself in a situation, uh, maybe in, in uh, adverse weather conditions, or maybe let's say your bike breaks down at the end of your ride, and you find yourself, you know, 100 plus miles away from where you live. You want to know where you can eat. You want to know where you can fill up. And if you have the capability, it might not be a. And if you have the capability, it's not a bad idea to also carry extra fuel with you. Um, if you can't carry extra fuel, carry a, a collapsible container that you can put fuel in. So if someone can give you a ride to your to the nearest gas station and back to your your bike, you know, uh, you won't have to worry about someone being able to tow you somewhere. You can just use uh, that fuel to, to get you to to the nearest gas station and that's another reason why you you want to know where the nearest gas stations are along your route because you want to know that there are multiple opportunities for you to fill up now i, I know a lot of you are, are in areas of the country in the areas of your country where where you're not going to have a lot of gas stations between one destination and the, between one stop and the next. So it might be important for you to stop before your tank is empty. Uh, if, you're if you're lucky enough to be a guy like me who has my fuel gauge here on the bike, uh, that's great. I know there are older bikes that you've got to watch your mileage on, so make sure that you're keeping track of that. So my fifth tip is to just take it in. Take it all in. The awesome thing about riding by yourself is that you're not on anybody else's schedule. Take the time to enjoy the scenery where you are. You know, if you, if you want, take a minute to pull a bike over, take some pictures, enjoy the ride, and just take it all in. That's why, that's probably, you know, of all the safety things that I've mentioned in this video, uh, taking it all in to me is, is a huge thing too because you know, so often in my life during the week and a lot of times during the weekend because we have so many different activities going on, you know, life is moving so fast. But as you know, even though we get on our bikes and we do go at high speeds, life seems to slow down. And you can just take your time and you know that was that's one of the things I loved about my Harley Davidson motorcycles. Was it was more about you know, just taking it all in and, and enjoying the ride. I'm not saying at all that I don't just take it all in and enjoy the ride on my KTM, but a lot of the times, as in addition to taking it all in, I'm enjoying the, the speed. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. I'm not gonna make any excuses, that was just bad. You know, I'm dealing with the wind here, and I was afraid of the uh, gravel. I've seen too many videos lately where I've seen people get low side crashes because they hit a little, because they hit a little patch of, of loose gravel. Anyway, just out here enjoying the ride. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure if you have additional things that you, as a solo rider, uh, like to enjoy maybe some safety tips for others uh, make sure to leave those in the comments and share those with the rest of the viewers out there but guys i hope you like this video if you did make sure you hit that thumbs up down there which is the like button and if you haven't already smash that subscribe button guys if you're out there riding be safe and if you're not riding get ready i'm that one guy and i am out